When it comes to jazz trombone, it doesn't get much better than this. In this solo recorded with Woody Herman's band almost 50 years ago, you hear a performer at the top of his game. That performer is Don Doan. Seventy years after he first picked up a trombone, more than a decade after having a stroke, Don Doan is making magic once again. He found his calling early on. His dad taught him to play guitar when he was just five years old. He discovered the trombone in grade school, majored in music in college. So all that was running through my mind all the time was music, 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 music. But breaking into the business in the 1960s wasn't easy. That was the toughest part about when I left Maine to go to New York, was trying to get that first job. Because people would say, where are you from? If I had said I was from Boston, they would have listened to me more, but they didn't. I said I'm from Portland, Maine. They, they just figured there's no jazz musician in Portland, Maine. Were they ever wrong? He went on to play with some of the greats, Count Basie, Stan Kenton, Maynard Ferguson. The kid from Maine was soon one of the top trombonists in the country. I worked very, very hard to be good. On the 1964 album, The New Sounds of Maynard Ferguson, there's a track called Maine Bone, written especially for him. By the late 1960s, though, Don was tired of missing his wife and kids. He decided to give up life on the road and head back home to teach. And that, says his former student, Tony Baffa, a popular musician himself, was his lucky day. I don't meet Don Don, my whole life's different. He just had a way of firing people up, whether they'd be eight or 80. Phenomenal teacher, any age. Don may have left the world stage, but band leaders knew where to find him. When Duke Ellington came to Portland in 1972 and his trombonist got sick, he called Don. I was on the front page of the paper. Don Don plays with Duke Ellington. And uh, You got top billing. Yeah. Next to his family, music was his life. That life turned upside down in 2001 when he had a massive stroke that left him paralyzed on the left side. One of the doctors says he'll never play the trombone again. So I'm thinking, they don't think I can play the trombone again because of the slide. And I can't hold it and I can't use the slide, but I've got a valve trombone. I can learn to play that. It didn't take all that long before he was back playing at the Bridgeway in South Portland. Then, just a few years ago, he hit a bump in the road he didn't think he could overcome. Because of health problems of her own, his wife Barbara could no longer care for him at home. After nearly 60 years together, they'd have to live apart. For the first time in his life, the music stopped. His heart just wasn't in it. Don says he spiraled into a deep depression that finally lifted when he met longtime Maine Veterans Home volunteer Barbara Cody. The um, activities director at the time asked me if I would be willing to sit with Don while he played his trombone. So I said, sure, glad to. With her encouragement, he dusted off his old trombone. And I showed Barbara how to put it together, how to take it apart, how to help me oil the valves, and she learned all this stuff. She was my savior, and she was the one that really got me back playing again. Barbara says it has been a joy to help Don, and a privilege. It was so nice to be able to do something for somebody else. Without music, life was pretty bleak. Now, when he sends those notes soaring... It makes me glad to be alive. That's the magic. That's Don Doan on trombone. Thank you.